Lanai is like, I, I would say the second least populated out of the eight main Hawaiian islands. Um, it used to be all dull pineapple plantations. Lanai feels like how Hawaii used to feel when I was a kid, like Oahu, like the neighborhood I grew up in. So it still kind of has this like old Hawaii feel, like everybody waves on the road. It's, there's nowhere as friendly as Lanai in Hawaii. You can just buy drinks, you don't have to miss. <laughs> The fish life was probably more so than I expected. Different kinds of dolphins, uh, stingrays, sharks, turtles. Just super beautiful, clean, tons of fish around. I think there's definitely big similarities between bow hunting and spear fishing because both of them kind of require you to really immerse yourself and get to know the environment and the behavior of the fish or animals a lot more to, just because the, of the proximity thing. You have to be close. Probably get busted on the way. out of that one. That's my specialty. <laughs> There's a number of reasons why it's difficult, but if you don't have wind, like a strong, consistent wind to conceal your noise, it's low odds, especially spot and stock. And once they bust you, the access to your bark and let all the other deer in the area know, and they have a perfect bead on your location. <sighs> staring at us. Bitch. So you're trying to go from point A to point B and you end up getting busted in like the last hundred yards. Being crushed by deer. The tiny brains, half the size of mine.
All right, so it was a bit confusing and we had to look back at the footage. Just couldn't find any blood on the ground anywhere, man. Been looking all over the place. This nice buck, it's looking super healthy. But you wanna see something crazy because I do remember the two bucks were stacked up in the shot. Check this out over here. Got two bucks <laughs> with one arrow. And it's almost identical shots on both. I mean, that's gotta be one of the craziest things ever. It's pretty nuts. I, this bow definitely shoots well. It's just this one arrow. Yeah, so um, Pineapple Brothers have been out here for some years offering guided hunts here on Lanai. So they actually have uh, access deer and mouflon sheep, and it's purebred mouflon that's on this island. Not a lot of people know that. And it's just a really awesome guide service. I mean, if you're hunting rifle over here, you're gonna kill something big. <laughs> awesome. I was kind of panicking because you feel our wind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit. <sighs> That's a good pulse in the morning. Oh, beautiful. <sighs> had a lot of pulse just getting there because they were moving quickly because we had the wind straight in to them. But uh, luckily, it showed his broad size on 250 meters. We got it round into him and then come down here now. And have a look at him. Interesting enough, he is in velvet, uh, which is quite unique, so, which is really beautiful. You know, here in Hawaii, a weather pattern hardly ever changes. It's almost the same year round. So some of the bucks, majority, you know, would be hard racks by now, but obviously this guy was either super early or late. I think he was just late. So our rut season can you know, start as May and last till till August, but yeah, I think this guy is just super late. And being with last year, we had so many years of drought. Then the rains came and just threw off everything. I noticed the birds were laying chicks, um, having chicks early. So it seemed like everything was like a month early. But obviously, this guy is probably a month late. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've shot deer in velvet before, uh, not intentionally, but roebucks, but not uh, axis deer. Um, I never shot an axis deer, this is my first one. No, oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, really excited for it. <laughs> Well, we got Shane Meisel, Field Depots, John Dubin, the owner of the Pineapple Brothers, Eric Jepson from Aimpoint, Dev Warners, I like to call him DW, from Montana. A little midday clay shooting. Hey, right to left. See it over top? Three tops. Was that a goose egg on both, a miss on both? One. You sure? Okay. <laughs> Miss it! Miss it! Noonan! Damn it! Shoot! Ah. Who's keeping scores? You get that? Yeah, yeah. He missed. Make sure to make a big Yeah, make that circle. a big, big zero. Big circle. He's only dropped four. two or three. This is four. Four. Four misses, yeah. Oh, nice go. work. Big. Got him. Yeah. Nice shot. Shooting. Pull. This should finish on a good note. 
Start telling them. I think I'm buying drinks. Devlin, you took the win with four misses total. Shane came in second with six misses. I guess I came in third with 10 misses. PJ, 11 misses. And Dubin, that makes you the uh, runner-up to the loser with 12, and Eric missed 14. Nice. <laughs> Eric will be behind drinks. <laughs> Very universal reaction. Oh. Sex Panther over there. That one went down smooth. I'm not even joking. You can light that on fire. <laughs> yeah, now they're all barrel proof. So 120 to 121 proof. So don't throw it back. <laughs> I like number two. That one. Very nice. I like. I like that one. That's it. Yes, sir. All right. There we go.